What is up, viewer out there watching this? Video Rocks back here, bringing you this time a full Vancouver Canucks 2019 mock draft simulation. This is going to be a simulation of the entire draft for the Vancouver Canucks, and we're going to be going over to fanspeak.com to get it done. This link was shared on social media. I saw this link on Reddit. But this is a really cool resource into finding out how the draft is going to play out in the eyes of the fan speak team. So without further ado, let's scroll down over, select our team, the Vancouver Canucks. We will go over to the next page and we will choose out our draft. Let's go a full seven rounds over here because the Vancouver Canucks, they have seven rounds worth of picks. So let's do all of that. Let's go over to the next as well. We are ready to mock draft. Let us begin. So the draft is going to go underway right here. This is the feed. Hughes, Capo, Cousins, they all go one, two, three. Now, I will say that the rankings are a little bit weird on this website, but, you know, anything can happen on draft day, so we'll just roll with it. Thomas Harley went fifth overall. So, the draft so far goes out Hughes, Capo, Caco, Cousins. Kaliev goes number four, which is kind of weird. Harley goes number five, that's kind of weird, but we have Doc. Turcott, Byram, Connor McMichael goes number nine. So with the players that we have over here, Vancouver is picking at 10th overall. And, you know, if we're going to pick 10th, I got to pick my number 10 ranked player, Cole Caulfield. Caulfield is an amazing goal scorer. I made a why I want on Caulfield for a reason. Most people know about Caulfield. If we're able to take him at 10 in real life or in this mock draft, that I'm doing, I would be very, very happy with that. 72 goals, 100 points, 64 games played. We are taking Cole Caulfield with the 10th overall pick. That's a great pick, if I do say so myself. Tomasino goes 13, Zagros is 14, Suzuki Soderstrom, Tracy, he jumps up quite high. Pistola as well. Shane Pinto goes 20th. That's crazy. Hoglander, Newhook, Thompson, Afanasiev. All right, so this is what our first round looks like. Caulfield, Robertson, Boldy, Tomasino, Zegra, Suzuki, uh, Groove, Kokkonen, Pelche, Thompson, Broberg goes 29th, Cameron York goes 30th, and Raphael Lavoie goes 31st to the Boston Bruins. So that's really, really cool. Let's go over to the next round. I have a feeling that there will be some really good guys available where we're picking at number 40. As you can see, the feed, Bobby Brink is still available, Enola's available. All right, Bobby Brink is gone, and here at 40th overall, the Vancouver Canucks have their pick. So, out of these guys... Who should we take? We can go down, we can take some really late guys towards the end here, but for the 40th spot, I don't know who I'd want to take. Jackson Lacombe is a nice player, Robertson is cool too, but you know, we took a, we took a forward with our first pick, so I'd like to take a defenseman here, whether that's Heinola, Kolyachinok. You know what? Uh, if I'm gonna be honest, if I'm really gonna be honest, I might have to go with Alex Vlasic. Actually, no. Oh man, Moritz Sider is available here. 55th overall spot, Moritz Sider. I made a why I want on Sider as a first round talent. If I'm going to be honest, I really would be happy with taking Moritz Sider. He's a player that's huge. He's right-handed. He's a defenseman. He got himself six points in 29 DEL games, but he was a little bit of a better threat in the playoffs. The thing you'd notice about Sider is that his draft minus one year had a ton of points. That's because in his draft year, playing for the DEL in the Adler Mannheim system, he was kind of with the training wheels on. If I'm going to be honest, Sider was a guy who did not have himself the most freedom in being able to play his game. And one may argue that his stock is kind of underrated, and his talent is actually much better than his production can predict. 
So with that being established, I had Cider as a top 20 guy, so to see him available at number 40 was awesome. Obviously, as I said, the rankings on this website aren't the best, but for what it's worth, I like what we have here. Cider as a second round guy, Holmstrom goes next, Foot, Alex Vlasic, uh, Jackson Lacombe, Poulin. Jordan Spence goes in the mid-second round, which is really good for him. I like him a lot. But overall, it's kind of what you'd expect from a second round. But if the Vancouver Canucks are able to get Cider, that would be really, really cool. Let's go over into round three. We got some pretty good guys still available. Henry Thrun from the US NTDP. Just kidding, he just got taken. Jaden Struble. Andy Liu made a great video about him. But it's our pick right here at number 71. There's some really good players available. Marshall Warren, uh, Jaden Struble, as I said, Nathan Legere, I like him a lot. Igor Sparadonov is available too. Hmm. There's some really interesting players. I would like to target a right-handed D, but I don't want to make it a... We're sacrificing the best case scenario at this point. Marshall Warren is really good, but if I had to be honest, hmm, I really like Igor Spiridonov. You know what? You know what? Ugh. If I had to go with centers, it's Spiridonov or Massimo Rizzo. Hmm, this is a tough one. It's a really tough one, if I'm going to be honest. Tuka Tixala is available here, too. He's really good. Hmm, it's actually really tough. Is there anyone else who's available? Okay, okay. You know what? Let's go with the sleeper pick. Let's go with the Russian, Igor Spiridonov. He's a guy who put up some really, really good numbers in the MHL this season. Spiridonov is over here, 41 points in 43 games played for the Stalnia Lisi Magnitogorsk in the MHL. He had some really good U18 numbers, and overall, if he's projected to go in the ranking that he is, I'd be very happy with taking him at 71. Now, with that being established, there are some other guys that could have been available too, but Spiridonov, I don't think it's a bad pick at all. Tuka Tixila goes here, Matias Maselli goes here, so towards the end of the third round, it's what you would probably expect, but... Spiridonov, he's got the potential to become a really sleeper pick, especially with how he's ranked here. 63, so he went a little bit later than he was ranked by Elite Prospects. 41 by future considerations, so there's that. Here in the fourth round, though, we got some guys available for us. Maxim Kashkovich is a guy that I really like. Sasha Mutala is a WHO player. He's from Vancouver. Ilya Nikolaev is available, too. I kind of don't want to take the Russian center because we just took a Russian center, but, you know, there are some other really good players in this right here too, but oh my goodness, I just saw the name. If we're going to take a player in the fourth round, it's gotta be my boy, Dominic Fen Sori. That is great. All right, let's search him up right here. Dominic Fensori is my favorite player in this draft. I just made a why I want on him. 5'7", 154 pounds, September 7th birthday, so he's really, really young. 42 points in 55 games played as a defender for the US NTDP. He's not a super high point producer. But he's so good at skating. His skating ability is off the charts. I called him Quinn Hughes Light for a reason, so we were going to take Fensori right here. And who cares if we're jumping up a few picks? Fensori is a guy that I really, really, really want. So that's what we have over there. Fensori as our fourth round selection. I like it. I like it a lot. So we're... Just breezing through the draft right here. We're seeing some of the other guys that were taken. Let's wait for the end of the draft here, right? Okay. So Sasha Mutala goes right after. That's pretty good. Kajkovic also here as well. Owen Lindmar, Carl Henriksen. Ilya Nikolaev goes in the fourth round to 23rd pick to Calgary. That might bite us a little bit later down the line, but... Let's go over into the fifth round for the Vancouver Canucks. There are some pretty good players available here, too. I see Ronnie Attard. He's over here. Samuel Fajimo is over here as well. If we're going to go with a fifth round guy, we're going to have to go with Attard over here. Now, I'll show you why. Ronnie Attard is a really, really good player, and he should be. 
He should be a good player because he's born in 1999. This is his draft plus two year. And he's a right-handed defender, six foot three, 64 points in 48 games played for the stacked Tri-City Storm. He was the best defender in the league, and he's available in the draft, so why not take a chance on him? He's going over to Western Michigan University, and he is really, really good at producing points, as he should be. He is an overager, and he is pretty big, but he's a right-handed guy who, if he pans out, I would really, really like it if the Vancouver Canucks had his rights. So, that's our fifth-round pick, Ronald Attard. He's over here. Taking a look at some of the other fifth-round picks over here, though, uh, let's see who goes after. Antti Sarala, that's Alexi Sarala's younger brother. I like him a lot. Samuel Fajimo goes to the Vegas Golden Knights in the fifth round. That's really, really good for them. Going over to the next round, let's go over into our sixth round. We got three picks, I believe, in the sixth round of this entry draft. And we're starting things off. Okay, here. Okay, um, Ryan Seedham is available, Hunter Skinner, Cole Brady... But you know what? If we're going to take a guy, I want to take Martin Hugo Hosh. Let's go over, search him up. Here we go. Martin Hugo Hosh is a player who is a big right-handed defender. Six foot four, 187 pounds. He's ranked 52nd by Elite Prospects and 71st by Future Consideration. So the fact that he's available here where we're picking, it's really, really good. So... Hugo Hosh, he played mostly in the Junior ASM Liga, he played in the Métis as well, one assist in two games played, but he was really good for the Czechs in the U18s, and 11 points in 18 games as a full-time big right-handed defender, I really like that. He's going to be playing in Tapera next season in the Liga, so let's take a chance on him. Martin Hugo Hosh is a Vancouver Canuck, 156th overall, now we're just waiting for our next sixth round pick. There are a few other really good guys here as well. I'm not really too sure who I'd like to take. Hmm. There's some pretty good guys here. I like Ryan Seedham. I like Hunter Skinner. But uh, you know what? If we're going to be honest here, scroll down a little bit more. There's some other really good guys here that I like as well. Alexi Protosh is down here at 202nd. Let's just go with... Benjamin Brinkman. Let's go with him, yeah. Benjamin Brinkman, yeah, he played himself in the high school league, 40 points for Adina High, 25 games played. He played in the University of Minnesota in this most recent season because he is a late birthday in 2000. Solid left-handed defender, 6 foot, 216 pounds. He's a pretty solid frame, and if he's able to build himself up, Playing with that Minnesota University squad, he's going to be pretty good going into the next few years of his career. As I said, there were other players here, and one of them right here, Nicholas Abruziz. I like him a lot. Let's take him with our pick right here, 180th overall. Let's search him up as well. Nick Ab... There we go. There we go. 1999 born. As with... Ronnie Attard, Abruziz is a player who is a double overager. He's 5'9", 163 pounds. But he totally led the USHL in points. 80 points in 62 games played. He was first in the league by quite a bit, and he was just a really, really good player going in throughout the entire year. He's going over to Harvard next season, so he will play with Jack Rathbone, and I really like the pick. I really, really like it. Abruziz is a player who, if we're picking him up in the sixth round, you can't go wrong with that. Now, going over into our next pick, seventh round, it's our final pick of the draft. Taking a look at what we have over here, this is our final pick. There are some really good guys available, but you know what? Hmm, let's scroll through it a little bit. So, Matej Blumel is available. Jackson Vandalise is available. Max Walgren is here too. Oh man, Max Walgren. Let's see what else is available. Um, you know what? If I'm gonna be honest, if we're gonna take one guy in the seventh round, this is the guy I want to take, Connor Horning. So let's go over into Elite Prospects once more. 
Search him up. Connor Horning. Yes. Connor Horning is a right-handed defenseman who led his team, the Swift Current Broncos, in points. Six foot three, 198 pounds. He's from Kelowna. He's a pretty solid frame, and he played for Swift Current, which was the worst team in the WHL. Yeah, they were worse than Kootenai. He didn't have that high of a points per game, but the Swift Current Broncos were really, really bad. So the fact that he was the best player on his team, and, you know, he was... He led the team in points. Swift Current was really, really good last year, you know, with Glenn Godden, Steenbergen, etc. But they lost all their really, really good players and ended up really, really poorly in the standings. They only scored 135 goals, which is much less than the Kootenai Ice did. It was certainly a league worst, and Connor Horning was the driving force on that team as a number one D-man, as a right-handed D with a good frame from Kelowna, so I would really like to take him in the seventh round if he's available. And with that being established, that is our NHL entry draft. The Vancouver Canucks end up with Cole Caulfield, Moritz Sider, Igor Spiridonov, Dominic Fensori, Ronnie Attard, Martin Hugo Hosh, Ben Brinkman, Nicholas Abruziz, and Connor Horning. That is a good draft, if I do say so myself. As I said, some of the rankings are kind of whack. I doubt Thomas Harley goes fifth overall to LA. I doubt Thomas Harley goes over Bowen Byram, but, you know, this is a draft. It's not perfect, but it is available if you want. Fanspeak.com over here. You guys can all check that out if you want. Control different teams and control your favorite team over here, but this is what I have for the Vancouver Canucks. This is our full mock draft simulation. Hope you enjoyed this video. Social Network Gaming, and bye. <laughs>